In our crazy fast-paced world, where something seems to be grabbing our attention every moment, and it feels like a hero's journey just to spend some time to get to a place of stillness. The value is in remembering what happened, savouring the experiences, and, of course, in sharing them. In this and next week's episodes, we're looking back at the past year's adventures to take a good look at how far we've come and further integrate the lessons learned. In January, we found ourselves on the Kennet and Avon Canal. While I was away visiting my mum, Miles decided to surprise me and repaint the living room on Alba. He also filmed the whole episode on his own for the first time. So I'm going to loosen the pegs um, and get ready to set off. So after solo boating quite a few times over living on Alba, moved the boat down to London, there was about 200 locks, over 250 miles solo boating. You learn how to be really efficient on your own. You really get focused at the task at hand and kind of drift away from the rest of the world, which is quite nice. The next day, I woke up to fog just outside of Bedouin, and it was so amazing. So I thought, oh, I wonder what the drone would look like in the fog. But I could not have prepared myself for what was about to happen. This is very surreal. It doesn't get much better than this in terms of ways to start your day. I'm back. Miles did such an amazing job in the saloon. So he did such an amazing job that the rest of the boat, immediately, everything needs to be repainted. So we've had this growing broken window for a while now. We've got a new window to go in here. It should fit, but it's going to be tight and it's a one, once it's in, it's in type thing. It's not as easy as a... No more broken window. How are you feeling? <laughs> Every year we plant our potted Christmas tree and sometimes it survives. How is it? My first single-handed cruise of the year happened in late January when I moved from Pizzi to Wooten Rivers. I stocked up the fridge with food, filled up the water and set off on a mini adventure. I always end up bumping the front. I don't leave enough space so my task today is to turn with enough space at the front and at the stern. In February, the canal froze and we had loads of fun playing with ice, but the mic wasn't plugged in, so we ended up making a silent movie. The storms came in February, one after another, turning the canal into a wavy sea. 
Feels like we're sailing today. I feel like we're actually on a boat. It's like rocking, having to hold on. Oh, don't hold on to that. Hold on to stuff. Storm, whatever. Heatwave Manium! Stop us! We went over for dinner at the Weirs a few weeks back where they completely forged our artwork, but we won't go there. But Mark showed us um, some wood carving that he'd been doing. So I thought, yeah, looks easy. So I had a go and I made a wand. It's the day after the mega storm of the century. We have survived. Storm, geez Louise. I don't even know what it's called. Geez Louise. It's fine, it was windy. And we almost lost our gas chimney, but luckily I was outside so I saved it. Like a chimney ninja. Today it's not windy anymore, which is a bonus, but it's really, really, really cold and very, very, very wet. The lock ahead is closing on Monday. We need water, um, so we have no choice. We are moving. We grossly misjudged the effects of the storm and how quickly the next one was about to start. Right, do a bit of a slalom to get through. All the flowers are out as well. It's beautiful, it's like spring. Well, there's a tree across the canal, all the way. Some above the water and there's some below the water. We're going to be here about an hour, but we're going to try and remove enough tree that we can slip through. Cool. Because we're cruisers, not snoozers. What's your strategy? We're going to just try and cut as much away as possible. So we've got a little slither between us and the bank. There's no guarantees though, to be honest. But no. There's no turning around either, so. Is there any way I can grab it and try and drag it away? Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Part one is done. Only one half of the tree left. Just trying to see if we could ram it. We don't need no CRT, we can chop trees ourselves. <laughs> so we're cleaning out our chimney. So I've just taken all the fire bricks out and the heat guard. But we've got a broken glass, which we're getting a new glass hopefully next week for. So this is how not to clean your chimney. First of all, I'm going to take this off, and there's going to be loads of crap in it. Hmm. This might not be as easy as I thought. Oh yeah, let's do it. Start it down. This is five months. Got a new glass today for the fire. So we've just got the door open on the fire to cool it down. And then we're gonna fit the new glass. I think it's just take the screws out, tie it up with a shoelace and done. So we haven't got our spanner thingy doesn't work and our hammer doesn't work. But we haven't got anything. It'd just be fucking simple. We've got the glass. You can see through the bathroom floor. Well Gosh. done. I'm about to start working on a thank you card for one of our patrons. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do because I love calligraphy and I love showing my gratitude. The water point is just behind us, so we decided that we're gonna reverse into the lock, get the water, and tomorrow morning do the cruising. As continuous cruises, we stay in one place for up to two weeks. 
And in this spot in particular, I've made a new friend. This, what, this is the only swan in Wiltshire that can't swim. We missed it. I know, it's just behind you. I don't but. think he understands, just give it to... Hey! <laughs> 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 I couldn't leave this mooring spot without visiting my old friend's emus. For Miles's birthday, we went to Wales to climb a mountain and see a gorgeous castle. We are walking to climb Pennyfern. Give us some history lesson. Okay, so this is this is obviously a windmill from no, this is a castle <laughs> with a pool, often called a mot. So this bit would have been the keep, I reckon, uh, the last form of defence. So they would have had to get in here. If they'd lost that, then they'd go into this bit. Fireplace is bigger than our boat. had the most dangerous fill up of coal in three years being on Alba. Everything is so icy and the coal bag is on the top on the roof so the plank today is so icy as well. Normally you can either use it because we've got strips. It looks like the strips don't work in the ice which is their sole purpose. The icy side making it all slippy on the on the gunnel so I barely managed to get up on the roof. I ended up having to fill up on the roof, fill up the bucket on the roof because I don't think I could have carried the coal bag, which is 25 kilos down that slippy plank. There is a massive puddle of coal goo on the roof now, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I managed to fill up, barely. Things we do to get warm. Today is our first evening cruise of the year. Although the clocks go back um, in two days, we actually haven't tried to move after work yet. So today is our first time. We're not going far, we're only going down two locks to the water point. Sunset cruise. It's a lovely night for a cruise. We're in York today on a spontaneous visit to Polynesian and we are cruising on their boat Bayos to York. I think we are cruising from York Marina to York and then we're going to stay there the night nice. and then move on back tomorrow. Are we clear at the front? How was uh, driving Bayos with a steering wheel? Oh, it's very different driving with a steering wheel. You don't know where your tiller is. Um, there is no tiller. Miles, what is your connection to York? Well, I used to work here for three years. Yeah. Um, and obviously Colin, my uncle Colin, my nan, lived up here for, gosh, nearly 20 years now, I guess. So, always used to come here at Christmas. Lovely city. Love York. It's probably one of the best cities in the UK. How old is oh, the York Minster? Oh, that's the West Indies. York Minster, circa 750 years old. 
smoothly. The winter is finally over. The mornings are still cold, but the afternoons are so warm we don't need to keep the fire going. We're back. We're back and it's summer. Well, it's not summer, it's definitely spring. It's is it Easter Bank holiday? It is today. Four day weekend. So you join us in Kimbury, but we're using the bank holiday to make our move to the Thames. This will be the uh, earliest we've joined the Thames. So we're trying to milk as much um, of the spring and summer um, on the Thames as possible since we're paying for the gold license. We good? Yeah. First day this year, walking barefoot. Oh, such a good feeling. It's like a metal detector. Oh no, what's he got it? He got it. We are in the land of swing bridges. Another one is coming up. The Jen to the Thames takes us through over 60 locks and countless swing bridges. Bridge number 206 today. We're coming up to the Woolhampton Lock. The famous Woolhampton Lock. That we've already done once, so we kind of know what to expect. And we came down here last year and it really caught us off guard and proper slammed us into the side. Oh, it's a bump. So basically after the lock, the river joins. The river joins, so it pushes you horizontally, but then you've got to do like a hairpin bend. We made it through <laughs> and we, we, oh, we didn't touch a thing, but it was close. It was really, really close, especially at the end. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Let's see. The swing bridge on the way to the river was no, broken. No, electricity. Nothing. Nothing's happening. Please turn on. This emergency line should only be used to advise of the situation. And which bridge is that? Uh, Padworth Swing Bridge, number 27. Got other issues elsewhere on the canal where all the operatives are manning other structures. So, Monday, 10 o'clock. I think there was a chap here like 10 minutes ago. I mean, we were trying to get... There was, but they've gone back up to Leicester because there's problems up in Leicester. So it's, it's skeleton staff. Just as well it is. I think this is a crayfish trap. Do you want it? Uh, on the Thames I might catch them and eat them. Okay, let's go, go. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just came out of this Fobney lock and... Oh, it's an, so challenging, the end of the K&A. Yeah. Were they getting on or getting oh. off? Oh my goodness. We're about to crash into a tree. Oh God. We're on the last stretch though, but this is really tricky. It's really narrow and really quick. And very windy. Okay, so I came out of the Fobney lock and there is a water coming straight through, straight like out of the lock. a waterfall. It's, it's really challenging. I don't know whoever came up with that a idea. waterfall next to a landing is... So painful. I was trying to moor up on the landing so my Which she did close the lock. But what happened is the boat was just swung so far this way. I had to try and get the nose in like I was about 50 foot uh, too far yeah, and then I had it. to reverse and I got Upstream. about 
yeah, with no true. steering in reverse. It's really not easy, but you, yeah. you handled it with grace. It didn't look like you were having a meltdown. I don't no. know if you were having a meltdown. No, I it was okay. It was fine, it was challenging. This is the first environmental agency block. We no longer need any tools. We made it to the river. Feels like home now. Glad to be back. We made it. Oh, we did make it. Sunburnt, dehydrated. I'm so tired. Grumpy. No, I'm not really grumpy. No, we made it. How amazing is our mooring? We are doing mod. <laughs> London style. If you enjoy this year's summary, tune in next Friday for part two and click the links in the description to watch the highlights from 2021. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.